Hello, and welcome to another episode of Author Fan Face Off. We've got one great author, one huge fan of the author, and we picked one book by the author. We're going to find out who knows more. I'm Steve Shankin, and my co host is the wonderful leaping librarian, Stacey Ratner. Hello. Yay! And it's a big day here at AFF headquarters. I mean, every day, every guest is special, but today we have Meg Medina with us author of many wonderful novels and picture books. Uh, we're gonna to talk today and our quiz today will be based on Mercy Suarez Changes Gears, winner of a little something called Yay. The New Girl. So welcome, <laughs> welcome Meg. Thanks. Thanks for doing this with us. Was this, was this book one of those things that you had in the back of your mind for years or was it something that, that just kind of popped up as you, as you started to write? You know, I, I wrote it first as a short story um, called Soul Painting Inc. that happened in um, an anthology uh, called uh, Flying Lessons and Other Stories. But you know, when I finished writing that story, the character of Mercy kept um, gnawing at my attention. And I had more questions about her and I wanted to know more about her. And then I just kept, I decided to to try writing her into a novel. And that's you know, that's what's happened. I, I wrote this one and um, the sequel comes out this April. Mercy for the Advance. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> so she won't stop. She will not stop. Yeah. Well, hopefully that means that it's fairly fresh in your mind because I think you have a pretty serious challenger today. Um, Stacy will do the honors. <laughs> Yes, I am super excited to introduce Lena. She's a fifth grader from Manhattan. She loves to read. She usually has about four to six books in her backpack, depending on, because she doesn't know what kind of mood she's going to be in um, when she's ready to read. So she plays the viola, and this, this fact is one that's very dear to my heart. She's considering being a librarian. Wow. Older, so, yay. Librarians are rule. Um, so... Are you guys ready? I'm you ready. Know how this goes? All right. All right. Welcome, Lena. Good luck to both of you. Good luck, Meg. And um, the first question will go to Lena. This girl is Mercy's nemesis in the sixth grade at Seaward Pines Academy. Um, Edna. Perfect. Edna Santos. Yep. And Meg, Roly calls the family's three small houses the Suarez compound. What does Mercy's mother call them? Oh, Las Casitas, the three little houses. Yeah. yeah. Yay. Okay. All right. You guys are doing great. Yeah. We expected you to be ready. All right, Lena. Mercy is saving up her money to buy a new one of these. Bicycle. Yeah. Okay. And Meg, okay. Mercy's father owns this business. Oh, Soul Painting Inc. But only for now, because Mercy has her design. She thinks she's going to own that company and That's run it like bigger than Home Depot one day. That's her goal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Lena, Mercy is looking forward to trying out for this team in sixth grade. Fucker. Okay. Just easy, easy. And Meg, Mercy is assigned to this club at school where her job is to help a new student, Michael Clark, feel welcome oh poor mercy she's in the sunshine buddies yeah her mm. brother calls it the friend of the friendless club it, it's it's one of those it's met it's one of those things that adults do that it makes sense on paper like we should mm. have a club to welcome new students and pair them up with an existing student and make them feel wonderful but nobody takes into account the awkwardness of that sometimes, you know, and what it feels like if you're a forced sunshine buddy. I don't think you have very mm -hmm. much sunshine, you know, to, to give, especially with Michael Clark. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. that was a fun club to, to sort of create for her, just all of its awkwardness. All right. Usually by now, you know, six questions in, we have a sense of what level of expertise we're dealing with. And I can tell that it's very high today. So hopefully these questions are... <laughs> are going to get harder. Uh -oh. Nina, how does Michael get injured in PE class? Mercy um, throws a um, baseball at him. Well, yeah. no, basically he was like going to her and he bet her $5 that she couldn't hit it and she did, so. Yeah, she hit the baseball. That's good. I'm glad you corrected that. That he, she, yes, <laughs> with a nice line drive. A line okay, drive so to the choppers. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Meg. Yes. Mercy has a secret crush on this action movie hero. The wonderful Jake Rodrigo, captain of the intergalactic universe, Iguanador Nation. Very complete. Very complete <laughs> answer. I admire that. She's still in love with him in book two. So I've been writing more about Jake. Uh, uh, Jake more about so believe me, he's, I, I mean, I had lots of crushes. My very first crush in real life was there was a, a band many years ago called the Monkees. And my crush wow. was on um, Peter Tork, the blonde monkey. They were singers. And my mother had a straw broom that I used to turn upside down because it was sort of blonde hair. And I used <laughs> to pretend it was Peter Tork. Um, yes, Lena, I know. This is the, this is what <laughs> dealing with, this type of person. So um, yeah, so it was kind of fun to write those secret crushes that we'd rather just like rip our lips off and tell our mothers that we have those crushes. But who were your first crushes? <laughs> I'm not letting you off the hook, Steve and Stacy. Who were your first crushes? Oh God! Do you remember? Don't worry. I, me. I have I'm many crushes. Yeah. yeah, many. <laughs> I mean, come now. I'm thinking of a librarian, actually. You see? <laughs> I'm trying to remember what grade. Like I think fourth, fifth grade, something like that. Mm. Yeah. Why not? I mean, I can pick. Yes. You know who my husband's right first crush was? Wilma Flintstone. A cartoon. Oh my gosh. That's true. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I look like Wilma Flintstone. I better not look like Wilma Flintstone. <laughs> I, don't, I know Steve's gonna be, he's gonna be flying those, there's gonna be Wilma, there's gonna be the monkeys. You're you're providing all of our sound effects. Yeah. That's good. My man. my first crush became a librarian, and we'll oh. leave it at that. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh boy I'm and we won't put up. lena yes tied all right up after four rounds uh lena after the great tomb project mishap mercy includes one of these in her apology note to edna a makeup pencil like an eyebrow pencil perfect oh my gosh gosh i i think i might have forgotten that one thank goodness oh, oh yes i do remember that she had to buy that one um and meg what type of fruit tree did poppy plant in the family's backyard a grapefruit tree oh wow. you have that dramatic or am i wrong am I <laughs> no you're right you're right no that's amazing that's I mean, those awesome. last two oh my god were, were things that were mentioned one time in the book <laughs> which is why those were there hoping somebody was going to get one wrong but that's okay because we're ready with one more something that just comes up once but it's an important part of the story Mercy's abuela helps make this costume for Michael. And if either of you know, is it? Yeah, raise your hand. Go ahead. Oh, Lena? Uh, Anubis. Yeah. And what um, what type of animal is that? Um, like a jackal, I think. Yeah, a jackal head. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Don't give me anything that hard because <laughs> the girl will win. <laughs> yeah, I mean... We could just admit that Lena is the winner today and leave it at that. Shall yeah. we do that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, there's no way we're going to stump her. We could keep going, but I don't see. I don't have anything hard enough on my page. I don't know about you, Stacey. <laughs> no, I think you're, you guys were, you rocked it. You guys are amazing. This was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I would stump somebody with, um, maybe like people's names, like, what is what is her favorite teacher's name? Like, what is her, her social studies oh, name? Do you remember? No. Ah, you see, it's Miss Tannenbaum, <laughs> I think. Oh, oh yeah. I, it's Miss Tannenbaum. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, and like, she's one of those teachers who really values like group work. And group mm -hmm. work is one of those things that can drive a person crazy. Right. It's it can be really fun or it could drive you right to the edge of the chasm because you know how group work is. You know, some people are working, some people are not working, some people are taking over, some people are not doing what they're supposed to do. If you were trying to stump me, what would you ask? Hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 
it'll probably work because I, <laughs> I have one, but I'm trying to figure out how to phrase it. So Ed, when Edna was Mercy, Mercy's um, sunshine buddy lot, um, the year before, what party did she um, have Mercy go to with? Did she uh, Mercy could go with her too? You would have stumped me. I can't remember the girl's name, but it was that girl who had a lot of money and she was in that big house. Yeah. What's the girl's name? Like Carly something. Okay, you're right. I'm going to have to look her up. I'll have to look her up. Maybe she'll come back in book three. Carly, yeah. Carly Crackers. It's scary sometimes when I'm doing events with students and they ask me something about my book. And for a second, as they're asking, I'm saying, did that happen? <laughs> I'm trying to pull it out. Author fan face-up. You will know more. Author fan face-up. Where can you go?